and welcome to the Sports Wrap. Some great fl flag football and youth baseball coming right up. But first, we begin with our hottest driver on the Sprint Cup circuit. A month ago at Richmond, Kurt Busch jumped on his crew for underperforming ever since the team has responded. First with three straight poles, and today, his best effort of the season. Let's head to Sonoma and watch okay, Kurt so Busch show oh, Denny gosh, Hamlin how you pass on the twisting turns at Sears that, Point. Busch setting up Hamlin and diving to the inside for the pass. He made it look so easy, but many others had trouble today. Let me show you a few. Lap 37, a whole bunch of cars getting into that 90 degree turn. In the back, Brian Vickers starts a wreck. They've got nowhere to go. They start piling into each other. Jump ahead, lap 60, Bobby Labonte cruising along. But he gets whacked by Michael McDowell and Labonte goes face first into the wall. Lap 52, Brian Vickers gets into the back of Tony Stewart. Both cars spin out and Stewart ends up on top of the tires. All right, seven laps to go. Time to make a move. Brad Kozlowski makes his right into the back of Juan Pablo Montoya. Around goes Juan Pablo and Kozlowski takes the position. But today's race was for second place. Kurt Busch dominated the road course, leading 76 laps for his first win of the season. It was his first road course victory of his career. Next week, they're racing in Daytona. Well, this is a very busy time of year for both youth and amateur sports here in Hampton Roads. Let's begin with your latest football fix adult flag football. This was the scene this weekend at the Metro Competitor Flag Football Union Summer Championships played at the Princess Anne Athletic Complex in Virginia Beach. 56 teams representing 10 states at the championships. Two divisions, eight man and nine man teams and this is full contact flag football. As you can see they take this game very seriously with some very good competition. The competition is fierce. As I was talking to one of the security officials, Dutch local, he said he really enjoyed the, the trash talking that was going back and forth and the intensity of the play. You have a lot of ex-Division um, I players out. You have current arena players that are out at play. So the competition gets very, very stiff. The teams are as far south as Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, as far north as uh, Massachusetts. And this is the premier event of the summer. Uh, this is, again, a national championship for the summer, so this is one of the most anticipated events of the year outside of our world championships, which is in January in Orlando, Florida. There are over 1,000 teams associated nationally in the Metro Competitor Flag Football Union. Here we go, boys. Team up to one, two, three, team! Let's go now. Boy. Flag football wasn't the only sport contested this weekend out at the complex. Over 40 youth baseball teams went at it at the nation's baseball state championships. Competing this weekend are nine 11 and 12 year old divisions. Nation's baseball was started two years ago and has grown 100% nationwide. This is big boy baseball and this league is for the serious ball player. The difference between uh, rec uh, you know, the Little League and out here is these kids uh, pretty much train year-round indoor facilities in the winter. They practice three, four times a week, and the baseball is at a very high level. Each kid out here eats, sleeps, and drinks baseball, and they're trained by skilled coaches. Probably got some of the best kids in the state out here. Uh, actually, yesterday we had a couple of scouts out here watching some of the uh, 12U kids, uh, though mid-70s. Now here's a true rarity. Kristen Creekmore plays second base for the Western Branch Bruins. While most girls drop out of baseball long before this age, Kristen continues to excel, standing side by side with the best boys in the area. Kristen Creekmore is probably one of my uh, most impressive players that I've ever had the pleasure of, of coaching. People talk about her being a girl, and I would put her up against any 12-year-old boy at any time. Kristen is a unique player in herself, her ability, her attitude. Uh, the effort that she gives, it's, it's nothing less than 100%, 100% of the time. It's fun. Uh, my teammates are good to me, and it, I enjoy it. Kristen plans to switch to softball next season. Andy, some people will tell you that this time of year is slow for sports. Well, I'm here to set the record straight. That's not true. No, it's not. Very busy time of year for sports, especially with the kids. And I, and I was telling you, I was watching that UVA game on, on uh, Friday night. Yeah, I mean, wait. Yeah, extra innings. Oh my gosh, hard. it was great. Good stuff. Hey, did you, uh, you were a cheerleader. Yeah, I was a cheerleader. It's a real sport. Do us a cheer. <laughs> uh, no thanks. 
<laughs> well, I guess I could tell everyone I've done the Sunday Sunday shows. Congratulations. Yeah. Great to see you guys. Good Thanks, to see everyone. you. See Bye -bye. you all tomorrow.